By special request, I am going to make a real basic PCB, kind of a pre-lab lab to the current exercise that we're going through if you're watching this in order. So the, uh, the exercise, again, is to make a one inch by one inch square PCB of a very simple fashion, a, a simple type, and get it off to Oshpark for manufacturing, just to go through the whole process. Okay, this is going to be an even uh, more basic board. So to start with, we've got our basic PCB. We got our schematic and our PCB. Prior to this, if you want to make up, uh, to, to go back even uh, another step, you start by going here to new, create a new project. Navigate your system and find where you're keeping your KiCad projects. In this case, it's right here. And then you give it a name, basic PCB, or something like this. When you hit enter, mine's already done, but when you hit enter, it'll say, do you want to make a, this a folder and keep everything inside it? And it says something like recommended. Yes, you do that, okay? So you don't need to make a folder first, but you do want to put it in, be in your KiCad projects folder. And then you hit save, and then you'll be at this stage right here. So this video, this first part here, is going to be just on the schematic, and then we'll do the PCB routing and shipping after this. So you double click on this, and it'll bring up your schematic editor, which is a schema. And then you have to come over here and place your components right here. So this one here, we're gonna start with a battery, a basic battery, and just type in bat, and there's your battery. Now, like in uh, a couple videos back there, we're not actually putting a battery on here. This will end up being just terminals later when we get to the PCB. For now, it looks like a battery. Then you're gonna place another component and we're gonna put a, uh, well, we can put a switch in here. Uh, the switch could also end up being terminals or it could actually be a switch. How about this? There we go. So that's the kind of switch we probably wanna have right there. So we'll put that in, and then we will add in some resistors. So you just hit R, and there's your basic resistor. Which kind of resistor, what, what you know, uh, how many ohms is this thing gonna be? Doesn't matter. I'm hitting C on the keyboard to copy a few of these. We'll put, how about four? Let's do four resistors, way more than you actually need. Done with that. Then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put in an LED. Type in LED, there's that, that's good enough. Put that down here, rotate it around if you feel like it. And we'll put in a few of those. What the hell, one more. Okay, and that's it. That's all we're gonna have right here. So then we're gonna wire this all together. Um, I think for a good exercise in, just for, for calculations and things like that, just to make it a, a, a good exercise in the lab after these boards come back, let's run these all in parallel. So we'll come over here to our wire, click on this, come up here and bring it right into your switch. Then from your switch, we're gonna come down here, run into your resistors, and if you want, you can run it all the way across. If they don't show up like this, if they don't connect, come over here and place junction. I wanna say that that's actually new in five because that didn't normally do that before like that. Normally you'd have to come by and add junctions. Then come back over here. By the way, W will start making a wire. <clears throat> Excuse me. W will start making a wire but uh, it starts exactly where you're at, so be careful of that. We'll bring this over here, and then we'll join these all in parallel as well. Yeah, look at that, it just joined them all up, nice. So get those all in parallel as well, and run this over, oops, 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 come on, there we go. Back to the battery, okay? There is our circuit, so that is, Stage one of this, phase one, stage one. 
we need to uh, do a couple. What is going on over there? How come you guys didn't tell me about that? What the hell? Okay, there we go. Uh, we need to annotate everything, as in all of these R's over here, all of our LEDs, the D's, they all need to have numbers. You can do it by hand, this, that, all this, or you can just come up here to annotate, hit that, and say do the entire thing, keep whatever's already existing, just go for it. Boom. BT1, switch 1, R1, R2, da, 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 D1, D2, D3, 4, 5, whatever we got, right? So there is that done. Now, if you want, you can run an electrical rules check here, make sure everything's good, say run it, everything looks fine, close that down. Now, we need to associate these to real components. This is one of the harder parts here, uh, or at least the more time consuming when you go to do it in, in a more actual fashion. Well, we are, I'm going to make this board. We're gonna send this thing out. Uh, so we have to know what we're doing. But this is going to be, this is all going to be through hole. So really, all we need is some holes in a board, you see? So we could have some two uh, terminal holes, thingamabobs, that are separated by enough distance to put this into it. So basically, off the top of my head, you know, these ones here could be, uh, you know, 10 millimeter uh, holes, uh, about 10 millimeter spacing. The LED, if we're doing through hole, I just said we are. Uh, yeah, you might want to have the actual LED one there because, you know, you want to have about a 2 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter pitch between them. Depends which one you're going with, I guess, right? So, you go up here to assign PCB footprints to schematic symbols. Associate, right? Hit this, and it'll load up all of your stuff here. This, these libraries right here, you may not have these. These are, are my own here and from previous things that we've done. So let's just go for um, what they got in here. What we're gonna look for, and your libraries might differ from, differ from mine, so, so this part does stray a little bit. So for the step-by-step, -step, this is gonna be a little less steppy-by-steppy. -steppy. We want to find um, something for the battery. So we want a two-pin terminal and uh, we could do a test point or you could do a terminal block down here. How about a terminal block? We'll just do that and we'll have it, uh, how about this? What's this look like? See that? What's our, what's our pitch here? Seems fine, okay? So this is good, good enough because what I'm thinking we're probably gonna do is stuff in some uh, test points right into here. I got these ones that I've been using for a while that I like for the through hole stuff that's like a little spike. It just goes straight into it, and it, it, it ha looks like on the top, it looks almost like a big eye of a needle kind of thing. And it's real easy to just hook a couple test clips on or grab some alligator clips on. Little mini grabbers are better, and we'll use that to supply power to the board. So uh, I like that one. Let's do it. Done. Uh, the LEDs. Crazy. They're right here under LEDs. Now we want to find one that, uh, we've done this so many times before, you'd think I'd have this memorized, I think it's this one right here, five millimeter clear. Let's look at that one. Yep, there it is. Okay, so that is going to be our five millimeter, so we want to remember, you know, that's the one to get. We'll do that one. Slap that in there a handful of times. And then for the resistor, throw a dart. You know, I mean, uh, right there, and go with, uh, <laughs> look for the number at the end here that's showing the pitch, 10. Look at that, woo, that's the one. Wait, yeah, 10, sure, seems fine. Good enough, uh, a little six millimeter-ish um, resistor, plop it in, good. Double, 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 double. Don't blur, I just blurred, there we go. 
that's in here. And then the switch. So the switch, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that. Um, the switch was kind of a last minute kind of thought. Um, big old switches, through hole ones are ugly, especially on little boards like this. Should we put a momentary switch in? Um, I got an idea. How about we just wire one in? This is a better idea. I like this. We'll go with this terminal block again. And we'll just we'll just stick the damn thing in. Which one was that? That one there. We'll just stick some wires in there. We'll, we'll solder on some switch later. Because I don't want to spend a lot of time thinking about this. I just want to go through the motions on how to put this together. And then later when we've got the board in our hand, we'll figure out how to put it together. This is just, this is, this, this is like one of the most basic boards I can imagine making. So we're good here. And then, uh, oh yeah, new, new stuff. It's not up here anymore. Down here. Apply and save schematic. Continue. Hit OK. That part's done. OK. So kind of, let's see if I can review this. Pick your schematic symbols out and start placing them out onto the board here. Wire everything together as you feel that it needs to be. Uh, annotate everything. Run an electrical rule check just to make sure everything's all good. Associate everything to an actual footprint. And that's the part again that takes a little bit of time when you start to do this uh, more specifically. Then the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to generate the net list right here and just hit generate and throw it right in your your file where it goes where it already says it's going to go hit save net list done this is done this is already saved and close out okay that's it for doing the schematic next video is going to be the same thing turning this into a PCB and shipping it over to Oshpark.